Merry Christmas, George. Merry Christmas, Damon. I got you this. It's too small to be a bike, but too big to be a condom, so... Wow! 1980s TV ads from Ireland! You know I don't know how to use the internet! Oh, I didn't get you anything, because presents are for good boys, and you've been a real shit. Thank you for this present, dude. These are so much better than the ads they show at Xmas now. What do you mean? Modern commercials are just so... commercial, you know? Take a look at this. It's just not how I remember Christmas ads from 1980s Ireland. Now, some of you might be thinking, oh, I didn't even know the Irish had TV in the 80s. Well, we did. And unlike the British, our TV presenters are still allowed near children. So let me get this straight. You think Christmas ads are too commercial? Uh, yeah. Well, let's take a look at some Christmas ads from the 1980s and see if you're right. He's not. One of the most famous Christmas ads from 1980s Ireland was this one from ESB. In it, a young man gets picked up from the train station and brought home to his mother, and she's obsessed with making the house burn down before he gets there. What's interesting is he's picked up here and drives by here? That's about an hour and 20 by car, and you can just feel the chemistry between the two. Um, I see the phone box is still there. Phones, 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 phones are good. What did you say to me? Never, never mind. Car pulls in and the lucky lad runs into his mother's warm, warm house. Gotta have a warm bed for her son. Ugh, Freud would have a field day with these ads. If he wasn't dead from a morphine-induced coma. Hmm. Electricity brings living to life. Strange thing is that they were Ireland's only electricity provider. So what they're basically saying is, without us, you're dead. Okay, I can see your point in that one, but it feels like Christmas is ruled by corporations these days. Kids are primed to buy any old junk just because it has, I don't know, a Star Wars logo on it. It wasn't like that when we were kids. You're gonna show me another ad, aren't you? This ad is from 1983, which, as we all know, is the year McDonald's released the McNugget. And, well, things haven't changed that much. Show me these Quinswet toys. Okay, Dart, let's look at the scanner. Jedi speeder bike, $6.99. Scout walker, only $14.99. Okay, but this video raises more questions than it answers. Yeah, like, am I supposed to be convinced to buy these things by Darth Vader, noted child murderer? I mean, he's basically space hit. Okay, Dart, let's look at the scanner. The manager seems pretty keen to get up on the Death Star. <sighs> what a Westbrit. <laughs> the thing is, Damon, you're nostalgic about the wrong things. Whereas I, I'm nostalgic for the good things in life. I remember watching a Christmas ad for pennies when I was a kid. It was set in the North Pole and it was just good, wholesome family fun. You're going to show me the ad now, aren't you? Yes. And it's going to be fucking weird, isn't it? Yes. This ad, which I like to call Sweatshop the Musical, is from George's childhood and is one I'm sure many Irish boys remember fondly. Is it because of the elves working away? Is it because of the joy on their rosy red cheeks? Or is it because... Oh no... Wholesome family fun, huh? This is like if Twin Peaks had a Christmas episode. Ooh, ugh. Oh, 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 that's a lot of naked ladies in Santa's workshop. Is this like Smurfette, you know, just one woman to a hundred horny Christmas elves? You know, now that I think about it, this ad did keep me warm on some cold winter nights. Thanks, pennies. Wow, I guess we were both wrong. Christmas ads have always been creepy and manipulative. And that's the sort of Christmas message that I can get behind. Yeah, Merry mm -hmm. Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Oh, what's this? 
Looks like Santa got something for you. Oh, better be the Bible. Quinsworth Christmas ad special edition? Show me these Quinsworth toys. How you dirt? Let's check out the deals on the hollow screen. Confusion cube, 50 euro. Prophylactic dispenser, two euro. Space immersion, priceless. I don't enjoy that kind of broad humor. Whatever you say, Dart. And now for something real special. Penny's girl. How about that, Dart? Bet you wouldn't mind smashing that. As you wish. Yeah, that's what I meant, Space Hitler. That's exactly what I meant.